friends my name is abdul and in this video i will show you that how you can make a smart energy meter or a simple energy meter uh, so what is an energy meter an energy meter is such a device which is used to calculate the amount of power which is being consumed by the load so uh, what are the functionalities that i have added in this energy meter is this that that this is a three phase energy meter which can calculate voltages, frequency, amperes, power, active power, reactive power, and the harmonics first, second, third, uh, third, fifth, and seventh, and ninth. So the controller that I am going to use in this energy meter is basically a Arduino UNO, a simple controller. We can use PIC, DS PIC, and STM324 as well. So for your simplicity, I have used the Arduino UNO as a controller. So what are the fun functionalities that I have added here over here is that they, as you can see, there are three phase, phase one, phase two, and phase three. So red, yellow, blue. So these three phases with three, with three different voltage sources over here. So these three voltage sources, uh, voltage and uh, amperes the load will be calculated and will be displayed on this 20 to 20 cross 4 LCD uh, 20 uh, rows and uh, 4 20 columns and 4 rows LCD display so this is a very simple circuit as you can see that I have used all analog inputs of Arduino UNO from A0 to A5 and almost all digital pins from 0 to 12 so I have also added a ESP8266 communication module which can display data on a website or you can use a digital uh, app like uh, you I have also developed a Android app for this to display the, the data you can use Bluetooth module or ESP depending upon your need so here I added a four buttons control keypad from which you can control the circuit and I also added a buzzer circuit over here in case of any emergency this buzzer will start and in case uh, if the voltage goes beyond, above beyond a level and the currents so then this buzzer will turn on so I have tried to make this design simple as much as I can you can also tell me anything if you would like to add in this design so let's check uh, most of you guys have seen and used different kinds of energy meter but uh, I have designed this energy meter as to make sure that the that the actual values of the voltages and the frequency and the currents are displayed so I have performed several tests as you will see that the error rate in my design is less than one person so you will get the exact value so here as you can see the source 1 voltage is, is 110 source 2 voltage is, is 110 and source 3 voltage is 200 so let's run the simulation and check how these things works As you can see, this is a smart energy meter, three phase Wi Fi based SCM three phase ESP8266. You have to wait at the start for a little bit and then the values are displayed. As you can see over here. It is a smart energy meter, three phase ESP8266 based so as i show you that the voltages of phase one is 110 and over here it's 111 so if you calculate that 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 um, the error rate which is so the voltage that i have actually added is 111 
110 divided by 111 divided by 100 minus by so the error rate is 0 0.9 that is approximately 1% so the value that you are getting is very much near to the actual value so it's 111 and the current that is flowing is 3.27 and the amount of power which is being consumed by the load from source 1 it is 359.9 watt as you can see same is in the case of as voltage source 2 it is again 111 and 3.24 ampere current is being consumed by the load and same is the power as I show you that the voltage number 3 has 200 volts you can vary and check the results let me just vary the amount of voltages now here we added 130 now let's run the simulation and you will find out that the results are pretty much similar okay so the amount of voltage that I have added over there is 130 and here you can see it's 131 volts so this is a very accurate circuit smiring of the voltages and the current so I as I told you in the start that the actual value will be very much near so it's just only 1% error rate which is negligible so for files like this protis file and also I also I have the core files you can get both files by sending a mail at tahmed45000 at the rate of gmail.com so I have the Gerber files for the PCB and the design files like the schematics the code files and the MATLAB simulation as well you can get all these files by just sending a mail at this email ID so thank you guys for watching if you want to add anything new I'll be happy to help you you can send a mail to me with your specifications please if you like this video then click that like button and subscribe button thank you take care bye